Okay, hi everyone. Uh, wind's a little bit high, so I apologise if the sound's a bit weird, but um, weather has been absolutely appalling. Uh, it's supposed to be the summer, we've just had, I think it was Antonia, storm come through, or Antony, or whatever they wanted to call it, some nice name for some horrible condition, but um, that's passed now, and uh, although July's been really poor, start of August hasn't been much better. What are we at now? Uh, the 6th of August so um, tonight it is supposed to be clear so I've got a rig that I've been sitting on for a couple of weeks just gagging to get using um, and hopefully tonight is going to be the first one so I'm going to go and grab my Chem 26 mount by Arptron and then I'm going to show you a nice scope and camera setup and I'm hoping to capture something nice tonight so stay tuned my name's Glenn, you're watching Astrobloke. So that's the rig, uh, roughly facing north, um, and balanced, and the mount fairly level, so that makes balancing a little bit easier. Um, it doesn't look that bad at the moment, but I'm actually really cold, so I'm going to go and put some uh, warmer clothes on. Then I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you what exactly I've got. Okay, I'm back, and even though it looks like a really nice uh, evening, it's actually quite cold, so I've had to go and change and get into something a bit warmer. Um, I think maybe my age, I'm starting to feel the cold a bit more. Anyway, what I've got here is an absolutely beautiful uh, piece of equipment, uh, loaned to me by Alta Astro. Thank you ever so much, guys. I uh, actually cannot wait to get to use this. It's been sitting in the uh, safely tucked away for quite a few weeks now. Um, with no opportunities to use it. But what I've got is Altair's 70 um, ED quad. So this is a, a quadruplet. So it's an absolutely um, gorgeous piece of, uh, of, of engineering. Really nicely made. Cannot wait to try it. It's F5 and 350 millimeters. It's got a built-in um, rotator, which is extremely smooth. Um, and what is different from this one is it hasn't got a very long movement on the top. That is as far as the focus tube comes out. So it'll be interesting to see what this is like to get in focus. It has got the fine adjustment on the other side, so hopefully I won't have too many problems. Now, 
I'm going to have to go for some manual focus tonight. A, I haven't got a batting off mask that fits this, although I've got one that I might be able to hold in place to get a rough idea. Um, but uh, also I've got an autofocuser on here, so we're going to be doing it manually. So what have I got here? Well, the camera is something very special indeed. Um, and I'm actually going to disconnect it so I can show you it. And I'm going to be doing um, videos of a bit more detail. Uh, like I've done before on scopes and cameras this one I definitely want to share with you because this is something I've always wanted to get uh, a, a play with so this is Altair's 24 um, colour full frame camera and uh, look at the size of that that is a full frame sensor and I've got one on my DSLR but on an astro camera it just looks absolutely huge so what I've got here is I've got Altair's uh, filter drawer in place and I've got their 6 nanometer dual HA03 filter to be used for tonight I'm going to put this back on here we've got a built-in tilt ring so if we've got any tilt we should be able to adjust it out um, and this camera has got some lovely features um, so 24 megapixel camera um, full frame but the pixel size is quite impressive it's actually 5.9 uh, in size so um, it scales okay with this scope but on other big scopes so something with a long focal length it's going to be perfect um, and I actually do want to try and get it on my uh, 10 inch Newtonium my CT10 I'm sort of quite a bit kind of excited to see what that will do but that's working on another project at the moment so I'm not going to be swapping it over with that anytime soon but I want to see what I can get with this uh, bad boy and um, I've had a look on Stellarium and what seems to be framing up very nicely is the Seda region I can actually get the whole of it in and um, looking at with some extra details in there like the cooling tower cluster and the um, Crescent Nebula and there's the butterfly there's so many objects in this area we'll obviously talk about it in more detail but I'm gonna get this framed up and um, yeah I, I think this uh, I'm quite excited to see what this can do mounts on PCs on so it's just a case now of uh, using um, well I'm going to use Google Remote Desktop and uh, hopefully connect up and uh, get everything working hopefully be smoothly not too many too many gremlins we'll see what happens so uh, I'll be back Okay, so uh, we're all connected, uh, slewing well. Target's going to be up there, moving off to the south, so uh, that'll be absolutely fine. Um, so yeah, we just need for the uh, dark to come, and then we can polar line, and then hopefully start imaging. So got a few hours yet, a good couple of hours, maybe about two and a half, and then we'll be out again. And uh, I shall see you then, and we'll hopefully start imaging. Catch you later. So the first sub is in, and that does look particularly good. Um, stars in the corners are good but if you can look there you can see my focus is out that definite look, focus is definitely not right i need to tweak it but i've got some great framing um, and i'm very pleased with it indeed but yeah my focus is slightly out but other than that i am extremely impressed with the first uh sub i like it a lot 
but just got to sort out that focus since put the filter back in the focus has gone off so I'm going to uh, take down a button off mask it's a smaller one than what, what it should have but I'm going to see if I can bit tape stick it on the end and see if I can get a focus going so I'm going to quickly go and do that and I'll report back So as you can see, this scope takes an absolutely lovely wide field uh, image, especially paired with a full frame camera. Um, but I, I, I know that it's going to do just as well with something like an APS-C size uh, sensor or even smaller. So an absolutely uh, gorgeous uh, piece of equipment, really nice optics. We've got the FPL 53 glass, so we're getting absolutely superb color correction. And of course, we don't need to add a flattener or anything uh, on, on this scope. So we're getting a lovely flat field of really nice sharp stars to the corners. So before tax, this is actually 958 pounds, 33 pence in the UK. So obviously for international shoppers, but with the UK uh, VAT added, it comes to 1,150, which is still a good price for such a lovely scope. I mean, it really is well made and takes lovely images as you can see. It's a nice fast scope. It runs at F5 and it's got a 350 millimeter focal length. And the imaging circle is big enough to cater for full frame cameras. I mentioned before, we've got this lovely smooth focuser and it's actually got just 29 millimeters of travel. So we've not got a long bit hanging out the back, which can cause a bit of tilt on the focuser, etc. So that's quite a nice design feature to keep everything nice and close to the main body. And we've got that lovely smooth built-in rotator as well, which is a really nice addition. So it's got uh, these X-ring style uh, holders and the total weight is 3.8 kilograms so most mounts are going to have no issue handling this scope whatsoever. I also mentioned I think previously it's got a built-in uh, tilt adapter so that's in there. Most or if not all the new cameras now coming from Altair have also a tilt plate so you have many options for sorting out any problems with your field of view should you have any tilt on your sensor whatsoever. So it's been an absolute pleasure using this scope and the next image I hope you enjoy which is of the Cocoon Nebula showing the dark dust trails behind it which I wanted to capture in a wide field. Um, I'll be following up this video with a video about the camera in more detail, the 24 CFX, lovely camera and I've got some other images that I've taken with this to share with you. But until next time, please take care and of course, clear skies.